So I'm going to read a short excerpt from this book by Robert Bly. Robert Bly is a poet. Um, I know him from the, I think he was from the 70s. Did a lot of work with archetypes and mythology along with Joseph Campbell and um, did a lot of work about healing and growing up, um, mostly for men, um, but some of this applies to all people. And Robert Bly has a metaphor for the human shadow. He talks about a bag that we carry around with us and all the things that we don't want to show the parts of ourselves that we don't want to look at or show to other people, we put them in the bag. And he's uh, a little colorful and poetic in his writing, just so you know. And this is from the second chapter, starting with the second paragraph. Let's talk about the personal shadow first. When we were one or two years old, we had what we might visualize as a 360 degree personality. Energy radiated out from all parts of our body and all parts of our psyche. A child running is a living globe of energy. We had a ball of energy, all right, but one day we noticed that our parents didn't like certain parts of that ball. They, they said things like, can't you be still? Or isn't it, it isn't nice to try to kill your brother. Behind us, we have an invisible bag and the parts of us our parents don't like, we, to keep our parents' love, put in the bag. By the time we go to school, our bag is quite large. Then our teachers have their say. Good children don't get angry over such little things, they might add. So we take our anger and put it in the bag. Then we do a lot of bag stuffing in high school. This time, it's no longer the evil grown-ups that pressure us, but people our own age. So the student's paranoia about grown-ups can be misplaced. Robert Bly says, I lied all through high school automatically to try to be more like the basketball players. Any part of myself, that was a little slow went into the bag. My sons are going through the process now. I watched my daughters who are older experience it. I noticed with dismay how much they put into the bag, that there was nothing their mother or I could do about it. Often my daughters seem to make their decision on the issue of fashion and collective ideas of beauty. And they suffered as much damage from other girls as they did from men. So I maintain that out of a round globe of energy, the 20 year old ends up with just a slice. Jumping ahead a couple paragraphs. We spend our life until we're 20 deciding what parts of ourselves to put into the bag. And we spend the rest of our lives trying to get them out again. Sometimes retrieving them feels impossible as if the bag were sealed. Suppose the bag remains sealed, what happens then? When we, put our, when we put a part of ourselves in the bag, it regresses. It de-evolves towards barbarism. Suppose a young man seals a bag at 20 and then waits 15 or 20 years before he opens it again. What will he find? Sadly, the sexuality, the wildness, the impulsiveness, the anger, the freedom he put in have all regressed. They're not only primitive in mood, they are hostile to the person who opens the bag. The man who opens his bag at 45 or the woman who opens her bag rightly feels fear. She glances up and sees the shadow of an ape passing along the alley wall. Anyone seeing that would be frightened.